Everything is in the cloud nowadays. How about testing? In this short screencast, we're going to look at an Angular application. We will create it from scratch. We will use Cordova to create a native Android application. And then we will use TestFairy's cloud testing services to see what our testers are doing with the application that we have created and that we would like to have tested with TestFairy providing its testing services to us for free. We begin with a basic Angular Seed template. And the Angular Seed template you can get from GitHub or when you use NetBeans IDE, there's a simple template you step through that pulls in that GitHub repo directly into NetBeans as we have now done. We have a complete small application a web front-end application using Angular setup. Bower and Node modules are referenced and from NetBeans we can download them as we have now done. Next we're going to run this application into the embedded browser. We could run into the external browser but we're using the one built into NetBeans and you can see it works. View 1 and View 2. You can click on the hyperlink and switch between the two pages from the Angular C template. Next step is we're going to turn this into a native application using Cordova or this is also called a hybrid application so we're using JavaScript to define the code and HTML and CSS but Cordova now running inside NetBeans or instead of on the command line we're calling it from within NetBeans is going to set up our application in such a way that a native application can be created from it we want to also use the camera on the device, so we need to include the camera plugin for Cordova. And when we look in the file here, we can see that because we've just selected the camera that it's included in our plugin properties file, which is relevant to Cordova. Now we build our small little project. And what will happen is that Cordova, again run from within NetBeans, is going to generate our APK file. So the process runs for a while and we've cut it a bit short here just to save you the time of watching that whole process but at the end Cordova creates a APK file as an output and this is the file that we can make available to TestFairy. So let's take a look at what's been generated by Cordova. You can see here the structure that's been generated in the assets folder in the assets folder we see the application and also you can see that there's a cordova js file cordova javascript which we need to include in our index file we need to reference that index file so there's a small gotcha here and you can see also in the plugins folder that the camera plugin that we said we wanted to include has been downloaded from github and included in the project so now we need to explicitly include the Cordova.js file, not inside of this platforms folder, but inside of our own app, um, inside of our own index.html file. And so we need to rebuild the application um, to get the Cordova reference correctly generated by Cordova into that folder structure. Now we add a directive for working with the camera and the code that you see here will be included in the blog entry where this screencast will be embedded and you can also see we have a controller so a controller and a directive angular controller angular directive for um, creating pictures using the camera on the device and updating a variable which we can see here um, one pic so each of the pictures in my pictures will be added to a list and finally we're going to run the application which means that directly from NetBeans it will be deployed to the device and what you see here is not an emulator but you see the device I am holding in my hand I'm using droid to screen to show you my device and now I can take a picture using the camera on the device via the angular code that I've shown and you can see I've made a bunch of pictures and they're in the list exactly as you see in the HTML file here each of the picture each each of one pic in my pictures is added to this long list the next step is we want to get our um, testers 
to have access to this application. So we can sign up to TestFerry, go to testferry.com, and once you've signed up, you can say in NetBeans, send to TestFerry. So you can right click on an APK file once you've installed the TestFerry plugin for NetBeans, and then that file will be uploaded, as you can see is happening right now. And NetBeans in the output window will show you a bunch of links, including the instrumented APK file that you can send to your testers, but also a link directly to the page on TestFerry where you can um, send emails to your testers to say, hey, download and test my application, please. So you will have a long list of testers and you can see here the, f the page has been created for us on TestFerry because we uploaded our APK file um, to TestFerry. You can see all the information and details and how long each session should take once the user starts testing your application, what is the maximum amount of time that you will be um, monitoring what's going on. And you can see here that I have um, sent to myself also a invitation and I'm registered. I can see what location the testers are in. I can also um, look on the page as you can see here and I, I get a video showing you um, what the tester, in this case me, is doing with the application. And then I can see the memory performance, the network throughput, and all kinds of details and graphs about the performance of the application, plus a bunch of screenshots taken every couple of seconds as the application is being used. Now, here you can see I have a bunch of testers, not just myself anymore, but I have testers in different countries, I'm Yair in Israel and Javier in, in the US, and which means that when I look on the map, I'll be able to see that my testers are not all in the country where I'm in, which is the Netherlands, but that they're all over the world and they're all trying out um, my happy camera application. And then I can get feedback from um, each of those devices. So here you can see the page and here's my testers and a nice map appears and you can see here there's three different places there's the netherlands and there's tiny tiny um, blue spots um, in addition to the large blue area there is where javier is and this is where yar is in israel um, and there and these are the three locations in the world where my application is being tested and now i can see also which devices and which resolutions and the os the android os that um, is being used and so now I have a, a very clear picture a dashboard of the testing um, statistics that um, test ferry is providing to me this can also be done for iOS so if you're doing iOS applications there's also a technique for for the same um, this is free in the way that I'm doing it now but um, test ferry there's also an enterprise version so that's um, where you would pay for for larger groups and so on um, but this is a really cool solution uh, if you want to monitor the testing that your users are doing of the applications that you've created uh, using Cordova or native Android. And you can see that the whole process is very smooth from within NetBeans. That's it. Have fun with cloud testing services provided by TestFerry.